Build exercise 2, task 1. Open and amend a spreadsheet. It says open the spreadsheet called earnings. Enter the following information in the footer. Insert header and footer. Down, down, down. I want name and centre number left aligned. Go eight three nine center the date so up in design you've got date file name in the right side change the view to normal you notice that some of the data in the spreadsheet needs updating oh okay spreadsheet title earnings should be earnings in two thousand and one. So we click into A1, then you have to click into the formula bar there. Caps lock on, earnings in 2001. Okay, and you press enter or click on the tick. The column named year is unnecessarily low, no, oh sorry, unnecessary now. The column named year is unnecessary now that the title of the spreadsheet has been updated. Um, delete the column that contains all the data for year. So right click on B, so you're pointing at B, the column B, right click and delete and that deletes your column. The data for September has not yet been keyed in to the spreadsheet, insert a row after August. So we need to insert a row here and before the row October. So I'm going to right click on number 12 and insert. I clicked on number 12 because it actually puts one above. So uh, August, we now want SEP. Ooh. And then I'm 1214.76 into that cell, into B12. Click into C12 and I want 598.62 enter. Number seven, it says the consultancy amount in March should be 720, not 615. So the consultancy amount in March, consultancy amount is uh, 720, enter. Now we're doing some calculations. Total monthly income, you've got to add regular job plus consultancy equals regular job for January plus consultancy. Click on the tick, copy that down. Uh, we need total monthly earnings. Um, the total annual earnings is calculated by adding together all the monthly income figures. Right, now this is a button called um, auto sum and it's basically on the home ribbon and he's, I call him Edward, it's not called Edward, it's called auto sum but you basically click into D17, click on auto sum and what it does for you is it says would you like to add up which is the equals sum then it puts a bracket and it's saying would you like to add up D4 to D16, well we've got a blank one there but it doesn't really matter so we've got D4, colon, D16, and yes, we do. Thank you very much. So we click on the tick, and it adds it all up for us. If any of these figures change, that will automatically change. 